Our first port of call today was Cumbra. This was a simple jump off the train, jump back on the next train, heading back into Newport. The station itself is pretty basic, with just a simple ticket office and shelter. We headed back into Newport where we came across this rather impressive mural in the middle of a roundabout next to Newport Castle. From there we walked on to Colune. Our first sight within Colum was this, in, was this park where these impressive wooden carvings were stationed. Each one of them seemed to have told a tale about a different part of their history, whether this was the First World War or something within the town. Here we are at Caerleon Amphitheatre. This was built in around AD 90 to entertain the legionnaires stationed at Caerleon, then known as Isca. It was a place where you could, wooden benches could seat six, up to 6,000 people and was the main source of entertainment around Isca. You have gladiators and even exotic wild animals fight, occasionally fighting here. After the Romans left, there was a scholar of the 12th century called Geoffrey of Monmouth. He had some ideas written in his book, The History of the Kings of Britain, where he claimed that King Arthur was crowned here and that this amphitheatre was actually the remains of the Knights of the Round Table. How much of this is true is, well, debatable. After our visit to Silchester the other weekend, and looking at the amphitheatre there, this is far more impressive in size. Um, it's definitely a lot bigger, it's a lot well preserved as well. You can make out in quite a few of the areas, the entranceways, the gaps and portals into the into the theatre as well. Uh, and the walls are about twice as high as what they were. So there was definitely a major, major site here compared to what was at Silchester. We're now here at what was the fortress or the barracks for the Legion here in Kowloon. It was originally constructed in around about eight, uh, sorry, 70 AD. And it was the furthest west in the Britannic Isles that the Romans actually got. It is pretty impressive seeing the fact that it is approximately 2000 years old. And there's still quite a lot of visible remains. You can make out where most of the rooms were. And it is actually one of the most complete examples in Europe of what a Roman barracks would have looked like. Um, there is a multitude of little rooms and paths. There was just behind me here, on behind this wall I'm perched on, is a freshwater channel that ran down the entire side of all of the barracks. Um, whether this was for drawing water or for you know, clear, you know, clearing out waste is another matter, but there was good examples here of a lot of ingenuity and technology that was then forgotten for a few hundred years, especially here in the British Isles. Um, but the basis of a lot of what's here is quite impressive.